Let's create a new project in Visual Studio. Start by opening Visual Studio. Now, create a new project. Choose ClassLibrary.net Framework. Name the project WeldProp Utils. Then, browse to the folder where you want to save the project. Make sure to select Framework 4.8 and click Create. Next, we need to add the necessary references for AutoCAD and Plant 3D. Right-click on the project in Solution Explorer and choose Add Reference. Browse to the Installation folders for AutoCAD and Plant 3D or the SDK folder. Add these files. acquamgd.dll, acdbmgd.dll, acmgd.dll. These are the base AutoCAD managed libraries. Let's also add the Plant 3D libraries necessary for our .NET assembly. So go to the Plant 3D SDK folder and add next files. PNPDLinksMGD.dll PNP 3D Project Parts MGD.dll PNP Project Manager MGD.dll PNP 3D Objects MGD.dll And I think that's enough for a while. To allow debugging and reduce the disk space requirements for your projects, select these libraries in the Visual Studio Solution Explorer and set the copy local property to false. To debug the plugin directly in AutoCAD, we need to configure the settings. Right click on the project and go to Properties. In the Debug tab, set Start External Program to point to Execution File of AutoCAD. You can find this file in the AutoCAD installation folder where AutoCAD is installed. In command line arguments, we have to enter condition of Plant 3D launch. So let's copy this condition from Plant 3D shortcut. This will launch AutoCAD with the Plant 3D environment ready for debugging. Great! With everything set up, we're ready to start coding. In the next video, We'll create the core functionality of the plugin.